This delightful video is brought to you in association with three. The iPhone 5S. Here it is, the new flagship, king of the pile iPhone that you'll be wanting to get your mitts on as soon as possible. But is it really worth it? Let's have a look at the features that we've got. So we've got a new camera. It's the same amount of megapixels, but they've done a lot of work to allow more light into the camera, which should mean better pictures. To help you when it's dark, you also have a new flash, which they've improved greatly as well. Inside, there's lots of change too, even though on the outside, it still looks very similar. You've got a new A7 processor, which is a step up from the A6 processor that was on the iPhone 5. And there's an M7 processor as well, which deals in motion. So one of the reasons that you'd want a 64-bit processor and faster speed is so you can do funky things with the camera. And Apple have introduced two new features here. One is slow-mo that allows you to record slow motion video, 120 frames a second, and then slow down any point thereafter when you play it back. And the second one is burst mode, which allows you to take numerous unlimited end of photos just by holding your finger on the shutter button and snapping away and then choosing the best picture later. In fact, you could say that the S in iPhone S, or the 5S, stands for sensors rather than speed. In addition to that, you also have what's the new swinging toy is a fingerprint scanner. So all I have to do is wake the phone, press with my finger, and it opens. No more passcodes whatsoever. The phone is going to be out very shortly, and that's the iPhone 5S. Now, don't forget you can sign up to get fantastic VIP deals at pocketlint.com forward slash VIP.